Hello everyone and welcome to Epic Yarn Jumps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a traditional granny square. So I just have gotten some yarn from my yarn stash. Um, these colors I thought looked good together and reminded me of a granny square. So the first thing you're going to do, like with most projects, is going to create a slip knot. Do that any way that works best for you. And then you're going to create a chain four and you're going to put your hook into that first chain and do a slip stitch. And what this is doing is it's making a little circle for you. So the next thing you will do is you'll do a chain three and you're going to go right into the center of that circle you just made. And you are going to do two double crochets into the center of that circle. After you complete that, you are going to move on, and this is your first little um, set of corner, and you're going to do a chain two. After your chain two, you're gonna go right back into that center, and you're gonna do three more double crochets. I'll put a link to how to do double crochets um, up in the information corner. So just in case you don't know, you'll have, um, a tutorial to show you how to do those double crochets. After this double crochet, you're going to chain two again. And you are going to do this a total of three times. This pattern of three double crochets, chain two. And what this is doing is it's making your very first foundation of your granny square. Once you get that completed, you're going to need to connect it. So to connect, to the beginning, you are going to do a slip stitch right into the top of that first chain that you did. And you can see it's starting to look like an actual little square. So this is the start of our granny square. You're gonna to wanna to pull tight that um, center and you are going to cut off your yarn here. So, um, and tie that off or however works for you. I just pull it through like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to change color. So you slip knot your new color and you pull it into one of the corners of your granny square. After you do that, um, make sure the knot is in the back if possible. There's other ways to do this. This is just one way to change color. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a chain three. Again, this counts as your first double crochet. You're going to go into that same opening where you uh, changed your color and you are going to do two more double crochet. So you just made a, a cluster of three double crochets and you are going to chain one. Actually, you might chain two um, and then you're going to um, do three more double crochets. I don't think it really matters chain one or chain two, but it does need to make a, a chain between these two double crochet clusters. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to chain two and you're going to go into the next opening on that corner. So right there's the corner. You're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets into that same opening. So that is kind of the pattern for when you're on corners. After you do that, you're gonna do that a total of three times. And once you have completed that, we're going to need to uh, attach to the start again of this row. So taking a look at this, what you're going to do is what you're doing is you're just making four more corners, just a little bit bigger than before. And you're going to go into that top chain of that first chain from the chain three and do a slip stitch join, uh, cutting off your color again. So I'm changing color again to yellow this time. Uh, you're going to go into a corner, doesn't really matter which corner, uh, do a chain three. You're going to do two double crochets and then you're going to do a chain two. You're going to go and do three more double crochets right into that corner. 
So after we finish this corner, um, you've expanded a little bit. You're just not on four corners anymore. And this is gonna be kind of the pattern that you're going to see all the way through um, making a granny square however big you want. So now you have kind of on the straightaway an opening. So in here, you're just going to do one set of three double crochets. And then to get over to the next corner, you're going to double crochet, I'm sorry, not double crochet, you're going to chain two. After chaining two, you're on a corner. So the pattern for that is um, getting right into that corner opening. You're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So pretty much that is the entire pattern for a granny square is if you're on a corner, you're going to do three double crochets, chain two. To get from one opening to the next, you're going to use chain twos to get to that opening. And then once you get to that opening, you're going to do three double crochets in those straightaway openings. And like I said, that is like the entire pattern for however big you want to make the granny square. So if you're on a straightaway, you're going to do three double crochets. If you're on a corner, you're gonna do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And to get from one opening to the next, you're just gonna use chain twos. When you get to the end, what you're going to do is go into that first chain three and you're going to do a slip knot. So it's simple as that. Um, it looks a little more complicated when you write it out, but not really. So if you're going to do two rows of the same color, what you're going to do is after you do your slip stitch, you're going to just um, slip stitch across the top of those um double crochets to get to the corner so it just um, allows you to move along and get to a corner by doing slip stitches on the top uh, so one last change here uh, doing black i don't know why whenever i think of granny squares i think of uh, black <laughs> outlines so i decided to do that as i'm working through this just a couple little notes for you is um there's a lot of ends to weave in. Um, <laughs> I think that might be one of the reasons why I have never worked with granny squares. And actually, this is my first time doing granny squares. Uh, there have been a couple patterns that I've wanted to try that uh, use them. Uh, one of them is a sweater, a long sweater. And the other one is I'm seeing these super cute purses by... Um, combining granny squares that I really, really want to try. If you have any tips or tricks on how to not have to weave in so many ends, please uh, put that down in the comments. Also, uh, what I've seen with granny squares, granny squares is that people block them quite often so that they um, keep a nice shape. So um, you can do that as well. I don't have the um, blocking pegs to do that, but... Um, here is my final granny square. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share the video out on social media. I would truly appreciate it. As always, peace, love, and happiness to you all. Take care.